Christopher Piles, Angela St. Fard, Carlos Tirado, Inger Wafer, Sabrina Wilcox, and Daniel Williams. Together we make Team Snow Leopard 1108. Our unifying concept, the next big thing. Our iMovie theme, comic book. Please enjoy our podcast. Hi, welcome to my group podcast, Snow Leopard 1108. My name is Carlos Tirado, and I'm going to talk about the next big thing. I find in a lot of research a lot of information about that, but the one that I like is one that said the next big thing, teenage excitement romance and mystery. These are shifts, those world type, what you are looking for for into the search bar about the show take you where you want to go and this thing started as print magazine in 1977 as now it is on this here interweb we have nothing nada now to do with any festival of the same name so don't send mp3 or anything else with you regard to thinking that you be the set of course for a career in the music business or anywhere else. If you do, then you are wasting precious time and for when you could be bugging the real culprit that are mispresenting our namesake out there. You might be great in which case, good luck. Just please take a look around here and see that you probably aren't going to fly in the parish. It is not your fault, is nor is our time is precious. Use it wisely. Thank you. The next big thing. Innovation can be scary and overwhelming, but change is inevitable. Will we take action? From the first cell phones to the latest and greatest in cellular devices. Steve Jobs, owner of Apple products, understood the need to evolve. Everything that we do is operated by touch, by feel. We are creating with our hands. But where do we come from? Where are we going? And how are we going to get there? Everything is changing. In 2012, we have a variety of touch-operated devices operated at the fingertips. We're recreating rapidly We're researching, brainstorming, just to figure out what is the next big thing. My prediction for the next 10 years to come in technology is that everything will be operated by sound, by touch, by simple movement of our voices. Hey guys, my name is Chris Piles, and I'm attending Full Sail's digital cinematography program. I, like many others in the creative realm, kind of believe that I'm a dreamer. I'm a dreamer. And when I say that, I'm thinking about the next big thing. And my next big thing is holograms. Holograms are already being used in some tech around the world, and we've seen representations of holograms in blockbuster movies like X-Men 2 in The Danger Room, or in Minority Report, or in Iron Man. 
Instead of using holograms as tools that the actors would interact with, like an Iron Man, what if we use those holograms to help experience the film? What? That's crazy! <gasps> Are you still with me? Yeah. Okay. We want to be part of the movie. We want to experience the film like we're right there, and things like 3D help us identify with the emotions and the drama that the characters are experiencing. This would mean that the entire environment would surround you, no more needing to worry about a bad viewing angle when you go to the theater. The technology would align itself with the viewer, not the other way around. Take this simple clip, for instance. The video changes according to the viewer, Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, huh? Well, only time will tell if my crazy ideas actually pay off. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person. So, until then, I'm Chris Piles. Enough said. Enough said.